it's probably my last year of having a shot at getting to Formula One. If I don't nail this year, there's no way I get another shot. This year has been probably one of the most challenging years of my life. Racing in Japan has been a big adjustment, and then I have this opportunity and I'm going to be racing in Formula One. Formula One's the only thing I'll ever be satisfied with. It's my dream and my whole family's been behind us since day one. Obviously I'm here to prove whatever to Red Bull or to, to whoever, but at the end of the day, this is for me as well. I want to win a championship. It definitely hit the spot in terms of really grabbing all the, especially the emotions, um, trying to get behind the scenes content. Obviously, I genuinely get goosebumps when I watch it. It's been my dream. So, uh, especially when I was younger, when I moved away, I was just thinking about how excited I was to race in Europe. Um, that was always something that obviously I dreamed of doing. So it was it was very exciting. Uh, maybe when, when I'm over there, then I realize I get a little bit homesick sometimes, but uh, I think the sacrifice is really um, from my family as well, from my family's sides. Uh, both my parents, especially when I was younger, go-kart racing, sacrificed a lot, especially financially to keep me racing. In terms of what I'm doing this year, it is, it is pretty set in stone in terms of my role with, with Red Bull as reserve driver. Uh, and in terms of what I'll be driving, when I'll be driving, I don't, um, that's still to sort of be, to be set out. So um, obviously I'd love to be behind the wheel of a Formula One car. Um, and I think we're all working towards trying to make that happen, whether it's testing or, or racing. But um, right now, nothing is, um, yeah, nothing is, is confirmed. You always imagine what your debut into Formula One is going to be like. And in most cases, you get told months and months prior, you have time to really think about and prepare for it. So um, obviously for me, that in my case, uh, you know, I had, had 12 hours. So um, the moment that it all happened, I, I that that was obviously very, very brief. But even looking over the whole five races that I did, um, it, it was so busy and it was so important and, and um, high pressure that it's just a blur. I think on the motivation side, it's never, that's never been um, something I've had to really work on or think about. I think that's always always been there. So um, that hasn't really changed since not getting the seat to, to now. Um, it's always basically um, sort of moving forward, working on things, trying to, trying to make that happen as soon as possible. Obviously, uh, exciting time for uh, for the team this year, going with a with a new name um, and obviously new leadership as well. I think the from from my conversations and sort of involvement so far, that it's looking really promising and exciting. Um, it's not something that will probably happen straight away, but obviously, with the direction the team's going, I think in time the improvements can be um, can be pretty pretty big, which is obviously exciting for everyone.